Hello, we are back in the shop again today. Uh, more clutching videos today, guys. This is probably going to be the last video that I do on this CV Tech clutch. Uh, I was kind of, I guess, not like the earliest adopter of this clutch, but uh, I've been running this one on my 2014. I think we put it on two or three years ago before we got the Alpha. Uh, I had it. So I've been running this clutch for a little while now. And since I did blow the belt on this unit there just last weekend or whatever, uh, I figured, hey, good time to pop out that clutch, talk about it. Uh, this is also a fan requested video. What do I think about that CV Tech clutch? In short, I'm loving it. I'll go grab my uh, clutch puller. I'll pop it off the, uh, the white sled in front of me here. The white sled that goes by many names. And we will pop open that clutch have a look at it because I want to do a little bit of adjusting too and I can uh, talk to you guys a little bit about it and answer some questions because uh, I am in no way affiliated with CV Tech or anything but I know a good product when I see it. Dog is drinking the water. Hey, hey, don't drink. Don't drink that water, Stevie. All right, there it is. Here is that uh, CV Tech clutch that I've been running on this M8 for a few years now. And we probably have, oh, we probably have 2,000 kilometers on it or a little more. I kind of, I haven't been using that slide quite as much because I switched off to the turbo when I got it. So, uh, but it still has like, uh, it still has a few seasons on it. This is the clutch that I got to replace this one. This is the clutch that I've been, I've been through three of these, three of these Arctic, uh, drive clutches, uh, before I went to this CV tech clutch. So yeah, these gave me nothing but issues. This clutch, um, this clutch has been solid. What are the benefits I've felt from it? Um, this old one here is a really kind of, it's clunky. It's clunky on the takeoff. I don't know if it has to do with the spring or just how the clutch is designed, but it's really clunky, even if your belt deflection is set perfect. So clutch number four and the last clutch that's ever going to spend any time in this M8 is this CV Tech clutch. Look at this, the old, uh, the old design clutch, uh, the UFO clutch. Looks old, but works really well. Now, yes, I did blow a belt with this one. Um, I've only ever blown two belts in that unit for 6,500 kilometers, so, uh, it's been just fine. And it was during that long pull, which was actually a two and a half minute pull or something like that. And I know that the side panels on those 2014s, they're not really the best for venting. So I'm not going to blame that belt on this clutch because, oh man, I knew it was coming. There it is there. You can see all these, uh, these marks from, uh the belt unwinding and uh, blowing off the unit because you can see where it usually sits. I would say with this thing, we definitely freed up some power. We've got really smooth engagement. The engagement, if you go with one of these, is going to be the very first thing you notice, a very smooth uh, engagement, similar to those ADAPT clutches and those newer team clutches on those M8s and uh, XFs. There is even a lot of people putting these clutches on uh, ascenders to get rid of that uh, team clutch. And there's even people who do it to get rid of the uh, ADAPT clutch, I've noticed. Uh, and what do I think about doing that? I am in favor of that. This clutch has been amazing to me. It's also supposed to be a uh, maintenance-free clutch. And I can tell you that I have put uh, no maintenance into it besides polishing the faces uh, every now and then. So since it's supposed to be a maintenance free clutch, since you guys requested it, and, uh, since I'm going to do a little adjusting, uh, since we're in there, let's pop open this clutch and let's just see what it looks like after about 2,500 kilometers of mountain use. When usually I burn through one of these clutches in, uh, about a thousand, a thousand to 1100. I can pretty much grab, grab out of those. And this one I've got, yeah, 2,000 on it, something like that, 2,000 to 2,500. Just trying to remember how this goes together, but I think I'm starting to remember that this is not spring-loaded. No, it's not. Okay, good. 
Okay, we still have our timing marks on it from last time. Let's take apart this bad boy. See what's going on in here. This clutch comes apart really easy. Okay, so keep in mind, we have not been into this clutch for a few years and it has not even seen service in a few seasons. So, what's going on in this clutch? So we got a big fixed movable sheave as well as shaft here. Uh, this would essentially be the clutch cover. Uh, there are some bushings that sit here, which are just fine. A little bit of little bit of belt build up in there, but nothing really that serious. And then we get into the movable sheave of our clutch. So this one also has all these. Uh, these shim stacks in them, which I'll get into in just a sec here. Um, so here's your movable sheave, as well as uh, this clutch doesn't really have a spider. So a spider would be this part here, this three prong, three armed unit here. That's called a spider. Uh, that's what actually usually keeps blowing on these for me. Yeah, it's this one right here on uh, this one that went. So that's just. That's toast. So this one doesn't have that. Uh, this one doesn't have a, uh, a spider system. This one kind of has a movable sheave. And then inside of this movable sheave, this uh, keeper here actually keeps a spring. So the spring is inside. You can't, you can kind of see it there. Uh, it's inside the movable sheave. So um, everything really doesn't have uh, a whole lot of wear parts on it. As far as the faces go, kind of seeing the normal stuff, just normal burn marks, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there at all. Uh, I would say less than usual debris buildup from belt residue. Uh, same with this one. Yeah, got no problems there. Just the normal, normal burn marks. Nothing, nothing to be concerned about at all. So these three stacks here are now your weights. These things uh, you can adjust and I'll show you what's inside uh, one of them because I'm going to take them out and adjust them a little bit. Okay, so each of these have a certain amount of uh, shim weights inside of them. So here is what those look like. So I ordered this clutch specifically for a 2014 M8000 and it came a little bit heavy for me. So what I had to do was I took one shim out and I think on all these stacks now, I think I'm actually going to take a second to uh, one of these shim weights out. This is how you weight these clutches with uh, depending on how many of these stacks you put in. Uh, that's how you get your uh, altitude or your uh, horsepower calibration um, is with these. So um, that is compared to the other method here is uh, you can just grab these weights here. Ooh, that's sticky. You can just, each of these weights here, you'd change out. So either those weights will be adjustable. That's this fly weight here. Uh, and the same one by my other thumb here, same thing. Um, you would change these weights out or make the weights adjustable uh, to adjust your calibration. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take one weight out of each of these. So I got one, two, three, nine, ten. So each one of these should have ten in it. Because uh, while we're in here, I'm just changing uh, my calibration just a little bit. There. And that is how easy it is to change your calibration on this unit. Very easy clutch to uh, take apart and to work on. Um, there isn't a whole lot of moving parts. There's no point in me taking out that uh, spring keeper on this sheave because the spring's not broken. And really, unless the spring was broken or I thought one of these bushings was worn out, that would be the only reason to be in there. And that's all just fine. So I'm going to clean this up now and uh, we'll just plop it back together. There really isn't a whole lot to see here. Like this clutch has uh, 2,500 clicks on it or whatever. And it might as well be brand new. Like there's nothing in here that's worn at all. Uh, after all that mileage. So 
Uh, highly recommend for your M8, especially if you're getting sick of uh, these clutches like I was. Highly recommend. So I'm going to clean this up. We'll stick her back together. Stick her back on the M8. Like the only thing showing any sign of wear at all is these little ramp things. And even then, like, I can't even barely feel any bit of wear on that. Like it's glossed, but that's it really. Yeah, the only thing you really got to watch out for putting it back together is that this keyed washer uh, sits correctly over this uh, this hex shaft here, and you don't squish it down and uh, crush it sideways with the uh, the big nut here. All right, like that's that's pretty much it. I got this thing all torqued up now and all cleaned up again. I am using the uh, yeah, I could use a clean back here. I am using the uh, the factory uh, ring weight or ring gear if you have an electric starter, so that is on there as well. Um, this clutch is a little bit lighter as well, so yeah, if you're looking to free up a little more power, I highly, highly, highly recommend this clutch. Basically, in summary, you're going to get more power in your cat. You're going to pay less for a clutch. Uh, you're going to get smoother engagement. You're going to get a more dependable clutch. There has been zero downsides to this clutch since I bought it because it has been nothing but good to me. And I am not involved with CV Tech at all. This is not a paid video, nothing like that. But when I find a product that works really good, I love to showcase it because that product literally has saved me thousands of dollars in clutching since I've put it in. So uh, I can't shut up about it. It's If you're thinking about it, just do it, dude. We have all these rack sleds around, but uh, I think it's time we take out the old iron. Uh, I think we're going to send out uh, the white knight here and maybe we'll throw in the phaser for a little bit of deep powder riding out here, huh? I think that's all for this video. Uh, if you like this video, there's there's tons of other videos actually just like this one. Clutches are something that I have to go into almost all the time. So there's a bunch of clutching content. I'll leave a video up here for you to watch. All right, uh, that's it. I'm gonna get uh, everything loaded up and uh, I'm gonna go sledding. So uh, see you guys in the next video. Womp it. See you guys tomorrow.